Deploying an Azure Purview instance can be accomplished in two ways. You can provision an Azure Purview instance in the Azure portal, or you can provision using PowerShell. In this video, we will walk through provisioning an Azure Purview instance in the Azure portal. There are four activities that you must complete to successfully provision an Azure Purview account. First, you must verify that all deployment prerequisites have been met. Next, you must configure the necessary resource providers in the subscription. At this point, you can now create an Azure Purview account instance. And once the Azure Purview account has been provisioned, the last step will be to assign data plane roles to allow access to configure data sources and view the data catalog. The first step in provisioning an Azure Purview account is to verify that all deployment prerequisites have been met. These include having an Azure account with an active subscription and having an Azure Active Directory tenant. Your account must also have permissions to create resources in the subscription. The last prerequisite is to verify that you do not have any Azure policies blocking applications from creating a storage account and an event hub namespace. During provisioning, each Purview account must create a managed resource group containing these resources. If you have a policy that would prevent this action, please see the link below for additional information on creating exceptions in Azure policy. Once we have verified that all prerequisites have been met, we can continue to the configuration of the resource providers in the subscription. Navigate to the Azure portal at portal.azure.com and open the subscriptions blade. Select the subscription you would like to use to provision Azure Purview. In the subscription blade, in the action pane on the left, under Settings, click on Resource Providers. There are three resource providers we need to be registered. The first is Microsoft.Storage. If this is not registered, click Register. Next, we need to check Microsoft.EventHub. Again, register this if it is not already registered. And the last resource provider we need to register is Microsoft.Purview. Once you have registered all three of these resource providers in your subscription, you can proceed to provisioning an Azure Purview instance. To create an Azure Purview instance, go to the Azure portal, search for Purview, and click on Purview Accounts. In the Purview Accounts blade, click on the plus add button at the top. On the Create Purview Account page, select your subscription, and a new or existing resource group. Give your Purview instance a unique name and choose your preferred location from the dropdown. At the bottom of the page, click the Next Configuration button. On the configuration page, choose your platform size of either 4 or 16 capacity units. A capacity unit is a provisioned set of resources to keep your data map up and running. One capacity unit is able to support approximately one API call per second. This capacity is used by user experiences in Azure Purview Studio or Apache Atlas APIs. At the bottom of the page, click the Next Tags button. On the Tags page, enter any necessary tags. For instance, my Azure policy requires that I put in a tag of Bypass to allow creation of resources. Next, click the Review and Create button. Once the validation checks pass, you can click the Create button to complete deployment of the Azure Purview account instance.
Once the deployment is complete, click the Go to Resource button. Before you or your team can begin to use Azure Purview, one or more security principles must be added to one of the predefined data plane roles, Purview Data Reader, Purview Data Curator, or Purview Data Source Administrator. The table shown here outlines the data plane roles and the effective access to the Purview Data Catalog when used individually or combined. To assign data plane roles, on the Purview Account page, select Access Control. On the Access Control page, click the plus Add button and select Add Role Assignment. In the Add Role Assignment flyout, select the Purview Data Curator role and choose a security principle. Finally, choose the Save button to finish the role assignment. Depending upon the access you would like to grant to the catalog, you may need to add multiple roles. After assigning the data plane roles, you can return to the overview and open Purview Studio. In this video, we have walked through the steps necessary to deploy an Azure Purview account instance. For more information, please see the official documentation at https aka.ms slash purview docs.